Art sometimes can help attach the right emotion to content and people who've worked in public art for many years are able to find ways to put the material in front of as many people as possible. I went to many secret documents um, in the wake of 9-11 and after the invasion of Iraq. Like many people, I wanted to know what just happened and why. So I went to a number of archives and read and read and read what I was not finding in newspapers. So I looked at this material, um, not from any one point of view, pro or con, but simply to assemble the material um, um, and pick certain ones to represent to people who also might be curious about what was going on and why. While I was looking in the documents for facts that could be useful, of course I noticed how many pages were completely redacted and um, would have a black square or a white one, or um, as seen here, uh, one that could, could be read. Here, looking much like uh, hopefully a good suprematist painting, is a waterboard document, um, a very suspicious looking one, uh, cruciform. I couldn't believe that this was the only thing that wasn't cut out. Another document I found early, a wish list for enhanced interrogation techniques. Um, this is what had me find focus and compulsively paint these documents. I um, maybe shouldn't confess this, but I made four or five hundred of these paintings in horror and frustration. Um, first because I wanted more information to be available, and then I became focused on what wasn't there, on big black ominous shapes where there used to be material. And finally, the end game. Uh, I want to know what it is. The first time we projected these documents was at George Washington University on the Gelman Library in which the National Security Archive lives, and that archive is the source of many of these documents. There's something more immediate in some instances with the documents themselves. People are very unguarded when writing them, and sometimes they're uh, just scribbled, and the presence of the hand makes the history real to me. What was quite interesting when we began to show them is that most of the people passing by thought they were fake. They thought they were editorial, that I was lobbying for or against this or that. Um, it was quite interesting to talk to the students who were sure that these really couldn't be real. Um, sometimes it's interesting to either melt or join architecture. It's a challenge. Because one's focus comes and goes, one's ability to understand what's happening ebbs and flows, so I like the representation of the language to be the same. This tends to not only give the content to people, but it will also pull them to attend. I want the meaning to be available so as not to lie. I also want it sometimes to disappear. I don't sign my work because I think that would diminish its effectiveness. Because then it would be the work of just one person. I would like it to be more useful than that. And to acknowledge how much work by other people is involved in mine.